Welcome to Lesson 11 Homework for Module 7 of Grade 2. Write your name first so you don't forget to do it later. And number one, count up using the arrow way. Have to use the arrow way to complete each number sentence. Then use coins to check your answers if possible. Alright, so we're going to use the arrow way. 25 cents and we have to get up to 100 cents same as a dollar and we have a little example here about how to get started with a start with a 25 if we add 5 that's going to get us to 30 if you don't remember how to do the arrow way it might have been a while since you've used it it's just a way to write down how you did the math in your head what the steps were what did you add what did you get next what did you add to that so 30 and now we're looking at we're going from 30 to 100 and we're looking at part you know ways to make 10 partners at 10 we're looking at 30 and 70 is what you need to get to 100 so what did we add we added this 5 and we added this 70 here's what we added we added 75 cents for 45 cents we're going to add our way up to a hundred cents again so let's start with the 45 and for the 45 let's just add five cents first and that gets us to an even 10 for 50 and now we can look at that and go f and just add 50 to get to 100 now that may have been the way you did it in your head maybe you just looked at it and you knew it but you still got to write this down you need at least to show these two steps 100 and what do we add we added 50 and 5 we added 55 cents 62 cents plus something equals 100 air away again we're starting at 62 uh, we'd like to get to the next 10 because then we can just add tens and that's a lot easier to figure out well, this is all using partners of 10 or our ways to make 10. We see that 2, we know the partner is 8. We need a plus 8 to get to the next 10 up, which is 70. And then from there, we can just add a 30, because 70 and 30 make 100, just like 7 and 3 make 10. 30, 100, and then what did we add? 30 and 8, we added 38 cents. Like That's how much we added. That's what we're looking for is that added. And now here we have something we started with. We're adding 79 cents to it, and we're ending up at 100. Since the order doesn't matter, the commutative property of addition, we can start with a 79. And 9, we just need to add 1 to that to get it to 80, which would be the next 10 up. And then 80 and 20 make 100. And what did we add? We added... 21 so it's 21 plus 79 equals 100 cents solve using the arrow way and a number bond so we have to do both for these and the first one here they've drawn the number bond already to give us an example of how to do it uh, we've been doing the arrow way already and we're going to 100 going to 100 and then down here it looks like we're subtracting from 100 so we're going to start with the 19 and to that plus one will get us to 20 and then plus 80 make gets us to 100 what did we add we added 81 so one dollar that's a hundred cents is the 19 cents that's the 19 cents here and this is the 81 that's the other part that added up to 100 81 and don't forget cents you gotta have the units that labels the units the cent sign there eight cents eight cents 77 cents plus something is 100 cents so this is a lot like the ones we've just been doing starting at 77 uh, what are we going to add? We're going to make up, we're going to add 3 to get that up to 80 because 7 and 3 makes 10, so that's what we need to get to the next 10. 80 and then 80 and 20 
make 100, just like 8 and 2 make 10. That gets us to the, the 100 cents, which is the same as a dollar. Now, when I draw the number, we're looking at 3 and 20. That's 23 we added, so now we can draw the number bond. And if you want to use dollar signs, be careful. The dollar signs goes on the left of the number. The cent sign goes to the right. Just like you see here, the dollar signs on that side. So there's a dollar. If you want to write dollar like that, or a hundred cents, you could write a hundred cents. Seventy-seven and twenty-three was the other part we added to it. And then down here we have hundred cents minus fifty-three. So it's still, it's still going to be the same kind of number bond. We're going to start with the hundred. Let's put a hundred cents here. I'll put cents here. And 53, uh, we got to figure out what that is. Well, we can look at this number bond, and it's a subtraction, but we can still solve it by, by adding up from 53 to 100. So we could really, we could still use the arrow way to do this. Or we could do uh, arrow way subtraction. We could start at 100. We could start at 53 and add up to 100, or we can, we can subtract, let's see, we're going to subtract the 50 first and then the 3. So I'm going to subtract the 50, and 100 minus 50 is 50. And now I'm going to subtract the 3, the 3 and the 53, minus 3 is 47. So 53 and 47, and oh, don't forget to label these cents, these are cents, right? And this is more of the same. The directions are arrow way and number bond. So we're going to solve these. This is going to, we're adding to 38. So we can start with the 38 using the arrow way. Plus 2 gets us to 40. And then the 40 plus 60 gets us to the 100 cents. So we're adding 60. Two. 62 and then our number bond is going to be the total of a hundred cents you could write it as a dollar or a hundred cents either way is fine here's your hundred cents here's the 62 cents don't forget these cents or how are you gonna write it 38 cents there so that's a 62 those are the two parts that add together to make it. That's the number bond. 100 cents minus 65. So the last time I did the subtraction one, we did uh, subtraction error away. And now this time I'm going to do it. I'm going to add up just to show it a different way. Uh, because we'll have in a number bond, we can have 100 cents. Part of it's going to be 65. And the other part, these two numbers we're going to add to make the hundred cents. So I could start at 65 and add up to it. Add the five first, it gets us to 70. And 30. And that gets us to the hundred cents. And what did I add? I added 30 and five. That's 35. Cents. Oh, and I forgot to label this up here with cents. Uh, so 35 cents, 35 cents. There's our number bond and there's our arrow way. That's everything we need for C. 100 cents minus 41 cents. Okay, so we have to use the arrow way for this. Uh, 100 minus, subtract the 40. That's 60, and then subtract the 1, minus 1, 59, and here's our number bond. And here I'm going to write $1, and the two parts we have, that's, oh, that was 59, 59, and it's cents, right? 59 cents, that's going to be 41 cents and the other part is 59 
sense. And airway here, bring it up 100. We're going to subtract 27. Subtract the 21st. That gets us to 80. And then from there, we're going to subtract the 7. And then it's going to end in the 3. Get 7 and 3 make 10. And that's the next 10 down is 70. So it's 73. And our number bond, 73 cents. And our number bond is going to be 100 cents. 27 cents. And 73 cents. And then finally we have 100 cents minus 14 cents. We could do 100 minus 10, 90, 90 minus 4 is 86, 86 cents. We can do dollars this time, $1. And we have the 14 and the 86, so that's 14 cents and 86 cents.